So when this blood gets into the baby, baby would instantly begin to have severe complications, severe jaundice, high fever. A child would be in distress. The child would just die. Let's say you have a business premises and you show up on a work day and realize that the place has been boggled. What do you do? You want to change your lock and a few things that secure your premises. And then you continue doing business. You come some months later and realize that the place has been boggled again. What do you do? You inform the police. You advance your security measures. For each time you have an attack, you improve your security measures. In the same way, for every time a woman's blood is exposed to racist factor from the baby, it will build more defense than it had previously. First pregnancy has gone successfully. The child just had little ENS jaundice when he was born and was treated and was fine. But take note, the woman is no longer the same. Her body right now carries soldiers that will fight anything that is resource positive. So she takes in a second child. That thing that happens within first 28 weeks, where there's a small blood mix between the baby and the mother, it is no longer a small amount of antibodies in her blood. Her blood has massive amis, so the baby right in the womb will begin to struggle. Some of them may not even make it. Let's say they even make it up until delivery. At the time of delivery, there's massive blood exchange between the baby and the mother. This child is still resource positive when the blood gets into the mother the mother will be further challenged to build layer three level of antibodies man's blood so has moved into the baby and this blood has massive antibodies from the previous pregnancy so when this blood gets into the baby baby would instantly begin to have severe complications severe jaundice high fever a child will be in distress a lot of things will happen and the child will just die and we call it resource disease in the child